Tonight, police in Portland are looking for Fox 12's most wanted, who's been scamming people out of their valuable goods. Fox 12's Jeffrey Limblum joins us now live. He says the thieves have been taking advantage of people, and Jeffrey, they've been getting away with a lot. Yeah, that's right, Pete. I'm here in front of the Washington County Sheriff's Office where police say that thieves have gotten away with $10,000 of jewelry. But one victim says for him, it's not about the money because what he lost was a family heirloom. I'm so ashamed I should end up falling for this trap. Thomas Xavier was out in front of his house when what he recalls as a white Jeep Grand Cherokee pulled up. He calls the thieves a man and a woman, professionals, luring him in with pleasant conversation. Namaste. And I'm like, when somebody says namaste, we say namaste. I just went near to the car, so near to the car. Police say a similar attempted theft happened here on the 27th of July at the Winco in Hillsboro, where an alleged thief drove up soliciting people just like back at Thomas's house. A car uh, stopped in front of my driveway and said, hey, so I said hi. So I was like, you know, so polite, nice people. I was not expecting anything bad from them. The woman in the car said it was her birthday and they wanted to gift him a necklace. He didn't want to offend them. I mean, she just put that in my neck. He says he was shaken. They even handed him a couple of dollars. And I was like, no, 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 I, I don't need all this. No, 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 it's, uh, it's a cultural thing. The thieves weren't there too long after. And they took off. They'd gotten what they were after. That's so then I realized uh, my real necklace is gone. For Thomas, it wasn't just any necklace. It was his mother's. When she died, I inherited that. Just because of my stupidity, I lost her. Uh, it's not the necklace, it's, it's my mom I lost. On my heart, you know. I never took it off. You know. It's gone. Thomas says he's not, excuse me, Thomas says he's not after revenge. He says that's in God's hands. While he hopes that the thieves are caught, he says given how professional they were, he assumes that his mother's necklace is long gone and likely has since been melted away. The reason that he's willing to share his story is he just hopes that nobody else gets scammed. Live in Hillsboro, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Fox 12 Oregon.